Uh, hello. Um, for those that don't recognize me behind this mask, I'm Jed Urban, also AKA Dr. Jed Urban. I've been involved with some of the research on the coronavirus, which is a huge problem, the biggest problem I think we've faced in, since 1918. One of the problems that we have for the people that are on the front line is the scarcity, lack of uh, availability of some of the personal protective equipment, which has really been the most severe problem in New York City. Part of this is because uh, other non-medical personnel are really using these uh, up. Uh, but now uh, I just wanted to go through some maybe solutions to the problem where we can basically reuse what we have. I'll first talk about gloves. These are just gloves that we wear in our office when we're seeing patients. And what I do in order not to uh, contribute to the scarcity of the protective equipment is I take alcohol after using the, seeing the patient, apply it, and I just rub it up just like I'm washing my hands with the gloves. Uh, bottom line is this is killing any virus that might be on the gloves, if, which wouldn't be important if we were to throw them away. But now I can reverse the gloves like this and blow them out so now you can really see it is truly me. And now these gloves are sterile on the inside where the next time I put them on my hand is going and can be reused. Um, some people said, what if you're blowing into it? Aren't you blowing germs in there? Well, there's still alcohol uh, permeated on the inside, so there are any germs that I would blow into there would be dead. Plus, I'm the one going to be using them anyway. The mask, uh, these are masks that we use. Um, this kind of a mask can be basically put on the shelf for 72 hours, and the, the virus will not persist on the surface of the mask that long. In fact, it, on cardboard surfaces, 24 hours, uh, copper, four hours, uh, steel and other surfaces can be several days. So you could use this mask like every third day, or the other thing you can do would be get a spritzer after you've used it, fill it again with isopropyl alcohol, and just spritz both sides of the mask, and then let it sit, again, giving even more protection. Um, the third thing that I think are, are important, and this isn't really necessarily medical, but uh, wipes uh, are important to wipe down, especially doorknobs and any other surfaces. I just take uh, a paper towel, fold it into force, and I usually do two of these. Then I take a sandwich bag with a Ziploc, I insert these two paper towels into the bag. Then I take some 70% alcohol solution. If I can get the top off and saturate these uh, with the alcohol. Once they're saturated, uh, basically then I fold it up, zip lock it. And I've found that what this to be safe, I so they don't leak. I put it in the second Ziploc bag and then finally in the third. Here's one that I've used and I've been using it for over a week. Uh, I, I just wiped out all my doorknobs in my house today with this. Been using it at the office for over a week so it becomes a very good reusable thing. Even if it gets dirty it's not going to be germy. Uh, if it gets unusable you just make another one. So anyway those are my three recommendations for people at home to kind of uh, help reuse uh, protective mask, uh, reuse gloves uh, that actually now are better than when the first time they used them, and a good reusable wipe to wipe down surfaces. Um, you might notice those Notre Dame people that I've got my special t-shirt, uh, Paul Partika for mayor, uh, on here. I got it especially for this video for those people. If anybody who doesn't know Paul Partika, he's he's a little midget guy that used, went to Notre Dame with me, used to box. I used I taught him everything he knew about boxing. Anyway, that's it for today.